control. Exciting stuff. Um, yesterday we did strength, fast strength. Monday we did whole body. Uh, today it's gonna be a full body workout. We're gonna have our usual intervals of 40 seconds per each exercise. Um, but we're gonna be doing a lot of single arm and single leg stuff. So some of the stuff will be our regular work and there'll be a couple new things sprinkled in there as well. So as I often tell you guys when it comes to balance days, I will continue to tell you and remind you, just be patient. Uh, not everything in this workout is meant to be done flawlessly. Some of the stuff is, should challenge you in a way that you might not be able to do it. And that's exactly why we're doing it. So we can continue to push ourselves and grow stronger. So on that note, bands on, cycles rolling. Angle that a bit. Nope, that way, yes. There we go, better, awesome. All right, so coming on up, grab your sip of water if you have not already taken it and start your cycle, touch the chin, awesome. All right, so first up, let's just start by opening up the shoulders a little bit. So arm circles, familiar, we've done these before. Left arm across the body, I'm gonna come down to my knees so you can see, reaching with the right arm all the way up, rotate, pinky finger faces back, Bring it all the way back and around. And let's take four more of those. Reading with the thumb, come up, rotate, pinky finger back, bring it around. Cool. And noticing that the body does not shift and wiggle as you are making these circles. You are engaging the core and the glutes to keep it stable. Last one. All right, let's work into the other side. Right arm across the body, left arm doing the work, leading with the thumb all the way up. Rotate pinky finger back, bring it around. Four more. Cool. After this, we're going to work into our upward wrist curl. And then we're gonna come down for a new kind of tricep push up, which is really weird, but it's great. Awesome, all right. First 40 seconds of work, we're firing up the forearms with upward wrist curls. We know how to do these. So I suggest going fast because we can. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's start moving. Awesome. Good. Get that rolling. Keep going, guys. There we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Now. Now we're talking. Okay. Pulling the shoulders away from the ears the whole time. I love that this is one of our first exercises in our workout. <laughs> if I ever told a normal workout client that we were gonna do upward wrist curls, they would look at me like I was a little bit crazy, but they're awesome. And we're building strength throughout the whole front of the arm, which is important, last 10. Good, keep those elbows nice and straight. Five, four, three, two, and rest. We're gonna take a quick 10 seconds and we're gonna jump right back into the second set. Our rest breaks will be a little bit longer for the rest of our exercises. All right, second set, 40 seconds. Upward wrist curls, let's go. Squeezing those fists the whole time. Yes. And we're even gonna sprinkle in some cardio at three different points today, but it's gonna be single leg, single arm stuff. Awesome. Half done. Good. See if you can move through it a little bit faster. Maybe even grow taller. Nice posture. We arms are working. Veins are showing up. That's exactly what we want. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. For this tricep push-up, I don't think we've ever done these ones before, uh, at least in this class. What I want you to do is I would suggest trying it on your knees before you come up into plank. I take my hands to the floor, I rotate hands to face the sidewall, and then I take my right hand in front of my left hand. So my hands are staggered right in front of left. I scoop my knees back. We do wanna still be able to drop our hips down towards the floor. And then the move is drop down, Press back up. So my elbows are splaying out to the sides. And we've got 40 seconds. Bend the elbows as much as you can. Get low. 
press back up. And if you can do this in plank, go for it, but I'd recommend starting on your knees. See how low you can get to the ground and then go for that extra challenge. 40 seconds, here we go. So the movement looks like this. Elbows out, press back up. It is going to be a limited range of motion and it requires core strength and other parts of the body to work to help keep you strong. Nice, very, very bizarre. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That range is gonna be small and that's okay. Yes, so this is our first half of our first set. We're gonna do two sets. One hand in front of the other. Awesome. So bizarre. These look great, gang. Last 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Perfect, Bonnie. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Let's jump right into the second half of our first set. Left hand in front of right. Now, I'm seeing a little bit of this. We want to think leading with the belly instead of with the chest. So, shifting the weight forward, dropping down and up instead of down and up, okay? 40 seconds, three, two, one, let's do it. Good, spread those fingers really wide, work into that range of motion. These can be very slow because we wanna focus on getting those triceps to fire. Cool, I know, cause I was just looking at me like, this is crazy, I hate it. <laughs> Doing great. Mm -hmm. Good. We have 15 more seconds to go. If this gets to be too much on your wrist, you can always do tricep extensions, but just try it. It's different, it's hard, it's gonna make us stronger. Mm -hmm. Last seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, and one. Quick rest, and then we're gonna jump into our second set. A different way to do a push-up. All right, give those shoulders a shrug. And let's make our way back down onto our hand. Right hand in front of left hand. 40 seconds, scoot those knees back. Three, two, one. Here we go, drop into it as low as you can. Maybe keep getting the forearms to the floor. Push back up. Yes. Nice. Good. We've got it. Awesome. After this, we have our second side. Great, Jim. Notice if you're leading with your hips or whether you're leading with the chest and your butt sticking up in the air, that is not directed at anyone. That is directed at everyone. Yes, last 10. Good. See if you can get those forearms all the way down to the ground. Five, four. Three, two, and switch. Last half of our set. Left hand in front of right hand. Elbows playing out to the side. 40 seconds, here we go. Down, press up, and down, press up. And if your arms aren't burning at this point, I don't know what else to tell you. Maybe take them even slower. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Great. Nice, Instagram's got it, Zoom has got it. We are half done. Good. After this, we're going to do a different kind of bicep curl. Exciting, we always do the same bicep curls. So we're gonna vary it up a bit. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Keep going, keep going. Burn out those triceps. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Great job. Tricep stretch, right arm across the body. Switch it up, left arm across the body. All right. This time around, we have a side, modified side plank bicep curl. What the heck? I'll demonstrate. If any of the balance stuff gets to be too much on your joints, you can always do a regular bicep curl. But I encourage trying this for the sake of proprioception. We've talked about proprioception before. The brain's ability to know where any given body part is at any given time. And the stronger your proprioception, the less likely you are to get injured because your brain's aware that different parts are doing all kinds of weird things. So I drop my left hand down to the floor. I come into a modified side plank. 
Now, you have two options. You can do your bicep curl like this, or you can lift that leg, do your bicep curl like this, okay? So it's the same bicep curls we always do, we're just on one side. So let's try it. Set yourself up, 40 seconds, we're going in three, two, one, bicep curls. Now take these nice and slowly and really work the muscle, especially because we're on single arms. This first set's gonna be slow, second set's gonna be faster. Good, that bottom arm is working, the top bicep is working, maybe even hovering that leg for increased balance. Awesome. And yes, the moves that we're doing just keep getting more and more wild because we gotta keep it creative. Awesome, half done. Ooh, squeeze that bicep, pull the elbow into the midline of the body, just like we always do. Yes, maybe slow it down even more. Mm -hmm. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch it up to the other side. Right hand roots into the floor, wrist underneath shoulder. Set myself into that modified side plank position. Option to hover the leg, 40 seconds in three, two, one. Bicep curls, slowly working through that range. Yeah, it's a Wednesday kind of workout. Every part of our body is working, especially that left bicep. Squeeze it. Ooh, good. Half done. Bottom arm is strong and supportive. We're not sagging into the shoulder. Push the floor away. Last 10. Ooh, yeah. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and rest. We have a second set. Give the arms a shrug. And let's make our way down for our second set. After this, we only have one more exercise and we're gonna get our heart rates up and then we'll swap out our bands and have questions a day. Left hand reach into the mat. My left knee is under my left hip. My left wrist is under my left shoulder and I pop that right leg out. Bicep curls. This time, baby, go for a faster speed in three, two, one, 40 seconds, pump it. Woo. If you wanna hover that leg, hover that leg. Little extra challenge, squeeze, squeeze, yes. Now, what sometimes tends to happen is that arm kind of moves with us. No, keep the arm glued into the body. Only the forearm is working to pump that muscle up, contract. Contract. Yes. Woo. Good. Should be getting tired by now. Keep going. Faster, faster, faster. Yes. Last 15 seconds. Pump. Pump. Ah. Oh. Even single arms get me going. I feel it. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Other side onto the right hand. Right knee under right hip. We're going in three, two, and one. Single arm bicep curl, pump, speed. Yes. Doing our best not to let the space between our elbow and our shoulder move. Keep pressing into the midline of the body. And if that foot's hovered, see if you can get it higher because why not? We're adding more weight to the bottom arm, making it stronger as well. Pump it. Yes. We are half done. 20 more seconds. <laughs> if you're getting tired now, good. If you're not, go faster. Last 10. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, bicep stretch, clasp the hands, lengthen out the arm. All right. Last upper body exercise of the day. It's been a wild ride so far. We're doing a forearm side plank reach through. So again, working into a side plank variation. I make my way over onto my left side. Now in an ideal world, I want your hips off the floor the whole time. If you need to keep a knee down, you can keep a knee down like this, or you can come into full side plank. I reach under and up, under, 
and up. Okay, so we're technically doing four 40 second bursts because one side equals one half of a set. Go ahead and make your way over onto your left arm. Press those hips off the mat, either one knee down or no knee down. We're going in three, two, one. Reach under, up, under, up. I call this the forearm side plank disco. Good. And none of my body is moving except for that top arm. Good. Yeah. Ooh, keep going. Get those hips up even higher. Work the bottom arm. Even the obliques are working to keep us stable. We are half done. Awesome. Whew. Bottom arm is getting tired. Last 10. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and right into the other side. Root the right arm underneath the shoulder, elbow, press yourself up, 40 seconds, three, two, one, under, up, under, up, keep going. Good, finishing up the second half of our first set. Press those hips up even higher, you can do it. Nice job, Instagram and Zoom. Woo we. Mm-hmm. Half done. Yes. Really go for that reach. Engage your obliques as well. Push the bottom arm into the floor. Get that floor out of there as you lift through your hips. Last 10. Good. We're going to take a quick break and then we'll do our second set in five, four, three, two, and rest. Grab water if you want it. Now, to point out one thing, technically the real work that we're doing in the exercise is only for the bottom arm. Because when we reach that top arm up, the blood is not allowed to fully pool. So just as a note, if you're at home and you're wanting an exercise that gets both arms, this one is primarily just the bottom arm because this arm, as soon as it reaches up, we're going the wrong way. So just to be honest about what we're doing here. Let's make our way down for our second set. Let's do a little cardio and then let's swap out our band. So starting on your left side, elbow under shoulder, get your hips up, get your arm up, 40 seconds. Here we go. Reach, lift, reach, lift. Yes. Good. Maybe even reach under and kind of wrap that top shoulder down as well. Good. Whew. Yes. And I love any work where the core is also working to support us. And oh my goodness, today is that day. Our core is going to be working the whole time. So at the end of our practice, we're not going to be coming down and doing core because I want your core firing on all cylinders and every turn of this workout lasts 15 seconds. Yeah, awesome, Jim. Great. Good. Last seven, six. Five, four, three, two, make your way over onto your right side. Final exercise, final rep, hips up, arm up, 40 seconds. Let's do it. Uh, down and reach. Under and up. Mm -hmm. Take it slow if you need to. Better to keep your hips off the floor the whole time adding weight to that bottom arm than to go fast and have to take breaks. Work that shoulder. Mm -hmm. Half done. Ooh -wee. I'm excited for our question of the day too. We have 10 more seconds. Don't stop now. Get your hips up even higher. Push, push, push. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone come on up to stand. Good job. All right, so our three heart rate boosting moves are lunge kicks. So a lunge, kick, lunge, kick. You can do whatever you want with your arms. We have 30 seconds right leg, 30 seconds left leg, and then 30 seconds of our X planks. So we're balancing on one hand at a time. Tap, shift, tap, shift. Okay, so we're always on either one foot or one hand. All right, first 30 seconds, 
lunge kick, step that right foot back. We're going in, three, two, one. Lunge, kick, lunge, kick, that's it. Good, you can take foot to opposite hand if that's helpful. You can go fast or slow. I would like you to try and go fast, but maybe that's not in the card today. More importantly, working through that exercise, last 10 seconds, and we're gonna go right into the other leg in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Left leg, drop it down 30 seconds. We are going. Lunge, kick, lunge, and kick. Woo! Maybe faster. Boom, get that back knee down though. It's not a step kick, it is still a lunge. Half done. Amazing. Last 10, then we're dropping down right into X plank. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to the mat, 30 seconds. X plank, going as fast as you can, go. Nice. Bonnie is flying. Sydney and Sophia are flying. Keziah is moving. I love it. Good. Get those hips up and back a little bit more each time. Yes. Last 10. Woo. Then we're going to come up and get some water and switch our band. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody come on up. Grab your water. Swap armbands for leg bands. And the question of the day is, if you knew that you could not fail, what is one thing you would do? One thing you've always wanted to try or would try, if you knew that failure was absolutely not possible, what would it be? <laughs> and I like this one because it can be a range of things. It could be, I'd restart my career and be a painter. It would be, I would climb Everest Base Camp. I don't know. All right. Swapping out the bands. Ready for some lower body fun. I like lower body stuff more on balance days, but that's just me. Maybe because I have better balance in my lower body, so I'm biased. All right, doesn't look like we have any answers to the question. That's cool. Oh, George, 11 minute free dive. That's really cool. That's super cool and sounds really scary. <laughs> All right, Sydney and Sophia say to be able to surf. I love it. Jim says he'd be an architect. I like these, these are exactly what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter what it is, just something you would try. Cool. All right, leg bands are on. Come on up to Sam. We're gonna do a little warm up today and we're gonna just draw some circles to open up our hips before we get into our calves. So leg bands are on, tighten mine up a bit. And just as a refresher, the leg bands can be pretty darn tight. And I've actually been guilty of not putting mine on tight enough on the last couple of days. So notice if you have the potential to tighten your leg bands a little bit and do that now, just so we're making sure we're getting the most benefit of our bands. All right. Once those leg bands are on, we're going to shift our weight into our left foot. Our warm up for 30 seconds is just gonna be drawing circles with the right leg. And I want you to try and keep that foot off the floor the whole time. You're just circling around, making as big of a movement as you can. And you can always bend into the left leg to help get a little bit lower and challenge yourself even more. So let's start with that. Weight into the left foot, bend that knee a bit. First 30 seconds, right leg, just circle it around without letting the rest of the body move. Cool. 
We're starting to get used to being on one foot. We've got a fair amount of that going on today. Nice. Good. Last 10. And we're going to go right into the other side. In. And four, two, and switch, circling up the left leg. And you can play with the weight distribution of your right leg. Sometimes I actually dig the ball of my foot into the floor and lift my toes. And sometimes I dig my toes in the floor. So play with that. It doesn't have to be just plopping your foot down. There's different angles and weight dynamics you can play with. Nice, last 10. Good. Using the core the whole time. I'm going to keep saying it. Four, three, two, and one. All right. We're awake. We're alive. We're working on one foot. For today, for the calves, my recommendation to try would be a single leg heel raise. So that can be one of two things. That can be this. Or if the balance isn't that stable yet, you can drop your toe down and that can be this, okay? So any variation between left toe down to left foot up is totally cool, okay? So shifting the weight into the right foot, 40 seconds, let's do it. Single leg heel lift. And the calves are gonna burn out really quickly as we do these. So go through it slow and focus more on the balance than the number of reps you're able to squeeze out. Keep going. We're already half done. Cool. So even doing like five of these the entire time in our set is going to be a lot more efficient than our normal heel lifts when we're on both feet. So be patient. Focus on getting it right. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on to the big toe of the right foot or pick that leg up. 40 seconds. Working into the left calf. Here we go. Up, down. Down. Yes. Keep it going. Good job, Instagram. Zoom is going. Look at that balance, gang. Awesome. It's easy to do about one or two, and then things start to get kind of wobbly, and you feel like you're going to fall. Yeah. Last 15 seconds. Mm hmm Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We have our second set. Shift the weight into the right foot. Come onto the big toe of the left foot or lift it off the floor. 40 seconds in four, three, two. Here we go. And we've got some new moves today for the lower body, which I'm excited about. And so when I do these, I kind of stop after each one, recalibrate my balance, and then relift. And if you're feeling super wild, I don't even know if I can do this without the wall, try and keep your right heel off the floor the whole time. Up. Up. It's hard. <laughs> Last 10. Then we're going to go right to the other side. Seven. Six. Awesome. Five. Four. Three. Two and switch. Final set. Toe the right foot or foot off the ground. Get that left heel up and up. 40 seconds. Let's go. Maybe you can try and keep the left heel lifted the whole time. Ooh. And most people have a dominant foot. So standing on one foot is easier than standing on the other. So if you're noticing that is your experience, that is totally, totally normal. Uh, as is evidenced by the sport of snowboarding, you always ride down with one foot forward. So if you're feeling that kind of weirdness and balance, everyone has it. Nice, last 15 seconds. Ooh, these are good. Yeah, last 10. Good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, good. So Steve said, shoot, I missed the question. I was on a phone call. Everyone grab water, take a quick rest. We're going to do our cardio after this, so don't drink too much water. Steve, the question of the day is, oh, you're just seeing all these random answers. Uh, if you knew you could not fail, 
what is one thing you would attempt? Or not attempt, you'd do it because you couldn't fail. All right, so let's do some cardio to get that heart rate up. And then we're gonna keep playing with single leg work. So first 30 seconds, we have lunge kicks, starting with the right leg. Step that foot back, drop that knee down. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Lunge, kick, lunge, kick. Get the back knee down, work into it. Whew, nice. Awesome. Yes. This is my pace. If you can go faster than me, by all means, please go for it. Last 10 seconds. There we go. We've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, left foot. Let's go. Good. Keep going. Nice. After this, we're gonna drop right into our X plank. He says, swim with great white shark. That's a good one. Good. Last 10. Woo, nice. Get that back knee even lower. Five, four, three, two, X planks. Last 30 seconds. Here we go. Into plank position. We are rolling up and shift. Tap that hand to the foot. Tap that hand to the ankle. Tap that hand to the big toe. Get as far back as you can. <laughs> Great. Woo, there we go. Half done. After this, we're going on an airplane ride. We've never done these before. Five, four, three, Two, press your hips up and back. Both hands are to the floor. Bend into the knees. Walk, walk, walk your hands back to meet your feet and roll on up. All right. Airplane ride. So it's a hard one. I shift my weight into my left foot. I get my right foot off the ground. I don't care how far off the ground the foot is. Just get it off the ground. Then I find my airplane wings. I'll rotate so you guys can see like this. Okay. I hinge forward. I fly one direction and center, other direction and center. So staying on one foot, you're flying side to side, okay? Try and keep the arms straight the whole time. Ridiculous, yes, so good for core, balance, leg muscles, spine, all of it. So let's set up together. Shift the weight into your right foot, get your left foot off the floor. It can be here, it can be here, okay? Whatever you want. Arms out like wings for 40 seconds. Over to one way, come back through center. Over the other way, come back through center. Take them slow. And I'm looking at the screen so I'm losing my balance. Look at the floor or the wall the whole time you're doing this. Nice. I see some people ricocheting off the wall. Try not to ricochet off the wall. I know it's tempting, but knowing you have that out will make you use that out. So really focus on the balance only. Yes, yes, yes. Last 15 seconds. Sophia and Sydney, I love it. There's just limbs. Things are moving. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Great job. We're going to go right to the other side. Left foot roots into the floor. Right foot comes back behind you. Find your wings. I'm going to scoot away from the wall. 40 seconds. Here we go. Over to one side and center. I suggest pausing as you twist, pause, and as you come back to center, pause. So each time, allowing your body to kind of recalibrate, squeeze, and then turn another direction. Jim, fantastic. And this is super frustrating. Good. These are one of those things that I said, not everyone will master it, but that's why we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Awesome. Try and keep that foot off the floor the whole time. Five, four, three, two, and rest. We have our second set. 
So not only are these good for the stabilizers, the little muscles of the legs, but they're also good for helping to get into our spine. And also think about squeezing your hips the whole time. Okay? So step the weight into the right foot. Left foot off the floor. Find your wings. 40 seconds. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get really nitpicky, your hip bones stay squared off to the ground the whole time. So I'm not flopping open like this. My hips stay down. But for the sake of doing this and learning, just try it and let your body do what it needs to do. Great. Good, good, good. Last 10 seconds. Squeeze your hips, squeeze your core, squeeze your brain. And four, three, two, and one. Last set, wait until the left foot. Pick your right foot off the floor. Find your wings, 40 seconds. Three, two, one, side to side. And my standing leg is shaking like crazy because I don't do a ton of this on one leg. And I'm okay with that because I know that means I'm getting stronger. Keep going. Half done. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Last 10. Then we're going to get our heart rate up one more time. Have some water and keep going. Five, four, three two, and rest. Great job. Heart rate boost. This time, starting with the left foot. Step it back. 30 seconds. Lunge, kick. Three, two, one. Here we go. Kick, lunge. Kick, lunge. Woo. Nice. Get that back knee down. There we go. We're already half done. Working that balance, working that core. Notice when you're kicking that you're not shifting back. My spine stays straight. Last six, five, four, three, two, and step the right foot back. 30 seconds, here we go. Lunge, kick, lunge, kick, awesome. After this, we have our X plank, last cardio boost of the day, let's move. Woo, half done. Yeah, big old kick. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and X planks. 30 seconds. Tap, shift, tap, shift. Let's bring it home. Woo, there we go. Instagram, keep it up. Yeah, see if you can press your hips up and back a little bit higher each time. Half done. Then we get water all around. Woo-wee. Last 10. Nice. Five, four, three, two. Press your hips up and back. Bend the knees. Walk, walk, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Rolling up to stand and grab some water. Ooh, nice. It is toasty in Southern California today. I don't know about everyone else. All right, next up, we have lateral lunge double hovers. I love these so much. This might be my favorite exercise of this whole workout. So we're only working into the lateral lunge on one side, then we're gonna do the other side, but it is a two-part hover. So starting with the left leg, I lunge over to the left, hover, straight leg come back up, Hover, lunge, get low, hover, straight leg, hover. Sorry, Instagram, I was kind of out of the screen. I'm gonna demonstrate it one more time. So I get really low on this leg, and then I come up straight on this leg. So we're gonna work into the left side, and then we're gonna work into the right side, all right? First 40 seconds, three, two, one. Here we go, lateral lunge, get really low, hover. You don't have to get that low. Come back up, hover. Lunge, hover, straight leg, hover. That's it. 
and I was moving fast, I would suggest moving even slower and getting a longer hover. So try that out for size and see how it fits. Cool. Uh-huh, half done. Good, and I see you guys really bending into that left leg, working into the lateral lunge, which is fantastic. Last 10. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's work into the right leg. Here we go. Lateral lunge. Hover. Straight leg. Hover. Lunge. Get that leg up. Straight leg up. Fantastic. Amazing. Nice, Diane. Good. I'm seeing everyone noticeably get their legs off the ground for that hover. See if you can hold it, squeeze it a little bit more at the top and work it out more on our second set. Cool. 15 more seconds left. Yes. Awesome. Last eight, seven, go George, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. On our second set, we're gonna focus more on that hover. So it's gonna be a lot less reps, but a lot more intentional movements. Not to say the first set wasn't intentional, but we're breaking it down even more three second hover on each one. So I lunge, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. Okay, starting into the left leg, ready? Here we go, last step. Lunge, hover, step it back, three, two, one, keep moving. Nice, really working into the outer hip. Hips are the biggest muscles in the body, so if we can make those strong, we are basically invincible. Awesome, half done. After this, we have one more exercise, and then we'll call it a day. Mm -hmm. Last 10, amazing. Give me five, four, three, two, and right into the other side. In three, two, one, right leg, lateral lunge. Three, two, one, switch it up. Three, two, one, lunge it. Three, two, one, Step it up, three, two, one. Keep going, and one thing I want you to make sure on your lunge is that you're not going like this. I want a straight spine the whole time. Bending at the knee instead of at the spine. Amazing. Half done. Yes, that's it. And on those hovers, see if you can squeeze your outer hips, get your leg up even higher, because why not? This is our last side of our last set. Last ten. If you can do one more round and only one more round for six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Last thing of the day is a single leg hinge. I know it's a lot on one leg, but everyone's doing really great with maintaining that form. So similar to our airplane, but this time we're not doing weird stuff with the spine. I pull my left knee into the chest. Can you tell them my right foot's my dominant foot? I always start with my right foot. I pull my right foot in my chest. Whatever you want to do with the arms, hands at hips, hands together, airplane arms, I don't care. You come down, flat back, as flat as you can go. You pull that knee up. You hinge, flat back. Now the goal here is not to touch the floor. It's just to come into a straight position between your head, your shoulders, your hips, and your heel. 
And you can always take a little bend into the right leg to help provide more stability. Okay, 40 seconds. Pick that left foot off the floor. Three, two, one. Hinge into it. Find as straight of a line as you can. And then use your core, your glutes. Pull that knee back up through center. And it's hard to do this looking at the screen. So don't look at the screen. Look at the ground. Ooh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Half done. Last exercise of the day. And we don't have to do core because we've been working our core the whole time. So this is it. Last 10 seconds. And we're going right into that left leg. Seven. Six. I like these arm formations. Four. Three. Two and one. Take that right foot off the floor. Left side. Here we go. Let's move. Hinge forward. And bring it all back up. Again, I don't care what you do with your arms. If you want a really big challenge, take your hands behind the head the whole time. Ooh, nice. Last 15 seconds. These are great. We're working all the muscles of the legs and especially the glutes on that kickback to help us keep stability. Awesome, Kaziah. It needs to feel like so good. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. We have one more set. So let's take a hamstring stretch before we do our final set of the day. Just take a forward fold. You can give the legs a pedal. All right. Now, let's roll on up to stand and let's do this. So using your core, get that left knee up and into the chest. High as you can to start, use your belly, pull it in even more. Now we're talking. 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Hinge. Find that nice long line and then pull yourself back up. I think the easy way, easiest way to do this is with hands on hips, but that's just me. Pick what works for you. Even if you only do two reps the whole time, that's cool. You're doing it. Half done. Beautiful. Those on Instagram who just jumped in, we're doing balance and body control today. It's been a, it's been a ride. Good. Last four. Three, two, and one. Final set. Right foot up. Use your core. Get that right knee up. Here we go. 40 seconds. Let's move. Hinge. And pull it in. You can challenge hands behind the head if you want. And a good way to get balance is just by getting a really strong core because that'll help you keep control of all your limbs half done. Yes, looks so good. Last. 11 seconds. See if you can do one more of your bravest, boldest hinges yet. If you could not fail, what would your hinge look like? Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release that foot down, clasp the hands behind the back, big upper body stretch, lift the arms, and then bend into the knees, dive forward and fold as you rock side to side. Let the top of the head melt down towards the ground, using your next couple exhales <sighs> to relax. And go ahead and release your hands. Grab somewhere on your shins, ankles, feet, something. Give the legs a pedal again. Mm 
And then bend in the knees as you roll up slowly to stand. And reach your arms up. Hook the thumbs. I call these your antlers. Stretch your antlers over to the right. Kind of looks like moose antlers. Just go with it. Stretch your moose antlers over to the left. Reach your moose antlers up to the sky. Give them a wave. And then release your hands down to the plyer. <laughs> Great job. Tomorrow we will be doing some cardio-centric stuff. Still working the whole body, but going a little bit faster. Have a brilliant rest of your Wednesday. Thank you. Go Thank you.